when you understand that three candles is all you really need to simplify your trading, once you pair it up with your main concepts, price action becomes a lot more clearer to see what direction it is currently heading in. So without further ado, let's get started with this video. Pairing up your three candles with your market maker buy models and market maker sell models. So let's look at our first example over here. If you look at this scenario, it's quite clear that after this segment in price, we had a reversal to go bullish. If it doesn't look so clear to you, you could jump up onto the weekly. Weekly, focusing on your swing points again. Here, you have that swing low, that price came down, sweeps it, and this is where you had price rally higher. This rally higher broke out of this swing high, or you could use the extreme swing high over here. That becomes your market structure break. So on the weekly, we are now bullish. That means any bearish price action should only be seen as retracements on the weekly to either rebalance an old inefficiency or mitigate a discount rate before it expands higher and continue your weekly bullish direction. With that in mind, let's drop back down onto the daily time frame. And you can see how easy it is to identify what direction the weekly is going in based on just your swing highs and your swing lows. Hence why I always emphasize this. Three candles is really all you need. But if you look here on the daily, if you remember, this price action here was just a retracement into your weekly imbalance over here, right? And that was where you had that rally higher. So this rally higher on the daily realigns your daily bearish price action from here to here because that daily bearish price action was simply just a retracement on your weekly time frame. Again, focusing on your swing lows and swing highs. Here, you have a swing high. Price has a full body closure past that swing high. Right, and then it gives you another break. So that reinforces the fact that because two swing highs have been taken out and two swing lows over here, or three even, here, here, and here, they all stay protected. That is a clear sign that on a daily time frame, we are going bullish from here, realigning with your higher time frame bullish direction off of your weekly discount rate. Again, focusing on just your swing points. Very easy to grasp. So that means, this is possibly just a minor retracement, possibly one or two weekly bearish candles to accumulate any positions here before it continues higher. Look at this price action here. You have the swing high low. The body closes back above this swing low. So that is a sweep. This is convincing price action for price to take out sell side liquidity, accumulate more long positions, and then distributing it higher. And with that in mind, this should become your overall drawn liquidity. Swing high. This is also close to your overall drawn liquidity. So those are basically your relatively equal highs, but we'll just mark out your overall drawn liquidity over here. This is also another target before eventually this one. So here you have three targets over here. If you keep playing price up, you can see it has a full body closure past your first swing high. Look at how large this range was created with just three candles. These three candles almost fulfilled this entire range over here from here, to here and that is clear displacement to you price heavily wants to rally higher and this steady bearish order flow over here is simply just a retracement to like i said sweep out sell side liquidity before distributing it higher so this displacement over here is a clear sign that we are going to continue higher and ideally this swing high should act like a magnet and as you can see there that's exactly what it does this is where you have a sharp retracement lower here a swing low gets implemented Price breaks through that swing low, so that becomes your market structure shift. However, market structure shifts on a daily to go bearish. If it's not in line with your higher time frame direction, which is your weekly, and remember the weekly time frame is bullish, because this market structure break on a daily hasn't shown any significant bearish price action on the weekly to signal a complete weekly reversal to go bearish, that means this bearish market structure on the daily could be anticipated to just be your minor retracement on your weekly time frame. Hence why you get a bearish market structure shift. So if you continue to play price out, let's see what price does. As you can see, this is a similar scenario to this one over here. This swing low, where you have resting sell side liquidity, got swept, body closed back within the range. So that is further showing you there is not enough conviction for price to continue lower. Because on your weekly time frame, you are still heavily bullish. So like I said, any bearish price action, even though it has a clear market reversal on your daily time frame, because it is on the lower time frame, it is going to leave behind a large range relative to that time frame. And that is the case because this is on a lower time frame. But on the higher time frame, that simply was just one large bearish weekly candle, right? 
that didn't signify any market reversal whatsoever. Because look here, overall price action on the weekly, we are still steadily bullish. So that means this should actually be your next drawn liquidity on your weekly time frame. So that becomes your overall buy side liquidity draw. But if you drop back down to daily, this is where your market maker models come into play. This is our overall drawn liquidity on that daily time frame. It is the last swing high in this price leg left behind. So that becomes our overall drawn liquidity. If you drop down onto your lower time frame now, remember this sell side liquidity is a higher time frame relative to your four hour because this is your daily time frame sell side liquidity, right? And whenever you want to see smart money reversals, you always want to see it happen off of a higher time frame PD array, whether that's discount array if you're looking for a market maker buy model or a premium array if you're looking for a market maker sell model. But here we have a discount array because we're anticipating for a market maker model to form to go in line with your daily bullish direction and your weekly daily bullish direction. So as that is the case, focusing on just your swing highs, this leaves you behind many more micro buy side liquidity. Buy side there, buy side there, and also this one over here, right? So when price on a four hour gives you a market reversal to go bullish from here, this is where you can look for your swing highs to become your target, such as these buy side liquidity, before your overall target being this daily buy side liquidity. Any swing lows on the buy side curve of this leg should ideally stay protected. If they don't stay protected, the bodies of the candles should ideally close above that swing low because that will signify that the reason why the swing low gets violated in the first place was simply just to sweep sell side liquidity, accumulate more longs before distributing it higher. So if price hasn't shown any convincing signs to reverse bearish, when you have this buy side curve, then you should always anticipate for your overall drawn liquidity to stay as your draw and act as a magnet because your overall time frame is bullish. So market maker buy models should ideally hold. If you look here, this is just your original consolidation, accumulation, accumulation, accumulation. So at those key accumulation levels, you can anticipate for price to retrace back into before distributing it higher, before it takes out this overall buy side liquidity. So let's continue. Here you have a miniature swing high that gets formed. This swing high, full body closure past that swing high. Full body closure past that swing high. Here, price is respecting this discount rate. So that shows you that we are now on the buy side curve of this market maker buy model. This is the clear market reversal that we are going to continue bullish from here. After price has swept out this outside liquidity and given you your smart money reversal. So market structure shift, respect of discount rates. As you can see here, because this candle closed, this creates another swing high. This becomes your immediate swing high. Remember, we are still focusing on just your free candles. So swing highs becomes your targets. If you look here, this swing low was implemented. It got close to this initial swing low that tapped into this discount rate, but it doesn't quite violate it. Because that's the case, that's another confluence that in this market maker buy model, we are still valid to look for longs here. If price takes out this swing low, but the wick was just longer to sweep that, I would say that is even a stronger confluence. Because like I said, this was just to sweep before distributing higher. So that would be an even better confluence. But the fact that this swing low still stays protected and we have a displacement higher, that is enough confluence for our longs to stay valid. And as you can see here, one, two, three, another swing low gets implemented. And this swing high over here should become your target. And as you can see, what does it do? Retraces back into this general area of all the blocks and it displaces heavily past this buy side liquidity. Again, another swing low gets implemented here. However, this is more of like your internal swing lows, right? Because your external swing lows should ideally still be this external swing low. But we could still focus on your internal swing lows because that would give you an intermediate analysis for where price is currently heading towards. If you wanted to have a long-term perspective, then go for your external range swing lows. But for now, internal range swing lows. Price retraces. Look at what it does, focusing on the swing points. Every time it retraces, notice how it always retraces into discount array and it prints a swing low. One, two, three. This swing low gets implemented within a discount array. This is probably the most highest probability confluence that you could have. When a swing low gets implemented in a discount array before it continues higher and takes out swing high in a bullish scenario. Same thing if, we, if you was bearish, right? When price retraces into some sort of a premium array, 
you ideally want to see a swing high get created. Once that swing high gets created and it displaces lower, that solidifies your bearish direction. So here, again, this entire price action from here to here, all we were doing were focusing on swing points. Even if you didn't know what discount arrays were, if you simply just focused on your swing points, it's very easy to see what direction price is currently going in. Because look here, swing highs were constantly being disrespected and swing lows were constantly staying respected. So now let's keep playing price out. This is where your market maker buy models come into play. Notice how at this accumulation level, price retraced and it also overlaps with this imbalance over here. Price retraced, created a swing low and distributes higher. That is ideally what you want to see in a market maker buy models. When you have accumulation levels, price should take out those accumulation levels, retrace, implement a swing low, and ideally this swing low should be at this accumulation level, and it's a bonus if it overlaps with a discount rate on your buy side curve. So you want to see a swing low form at those areas, and once a swing low forms at those areas and it distributes higher, that will validate those key levels holding price and supporting it to go higher on your buy side curve of a market maker buy model. So if we keep playing price out, let's see what price gives us. At its accumulation level, it is met with some sort of a resistance. But as you can see here, it retraces into this imbalance and it creates another swing low. This swing high over here, it doesn't have a full body closure past that swing high yet. So in this current price action, I wouldn't really look to entertain anything in this current price action. Because even though it's printed a swing low and held at this imbalance level, there is not enough conviction that it is continuing higher yet. Because the swing highs are still staying intact. So with that in mind, you simply just have to wait for more candles to print to determine any further bias. And as you can see, because that's the case, all you can hear was consolidation. You didn't have a straight movement higher. Not until you had this displacement. With a full body closure past this swing high, it is showing you that there is enough conviction now for price to continue higher. This should ideally be your buy side liquidity draw and price should have a full body closure past that buy side liquidity draw. Once it does so, this should be your next draw and then this should be your next draw. But let's keep playing price out and see what it does. So you can see here, it doesn't have a full body closure past that buy side liquidity draw yet. The reason why I say yet is because if you don't focus too much on this certain price range, Look at the overall picture. We are still heavily bullish. From here to here, there are no signs of a market reversal to go bearish yet on your four hour. And because this is pretty much a solid market maker buy model, this should be our next draw on liquidity. This draw on liquidity is also in line with our higher time frame direction. So this is a magnet, right? Be confident in your draws on liquidity. Because you're confident in these draws on liquidity, that means even if intermediate price action doesn't show a lot of conviction yet that it is going to continue higher, you should at least be 51% to 49% convinced that it is going to continue in your intended direction. And this is one of those scenarios, because even though it has a wick above this buy side liquidity, look at your previous price action. It gives you another break to the upside. So that is further conviction that we're going to continue higher. If you keep playing price up, look at what it does. You have this intermediate swing low, sweeps, and it gives you a bullish closure. This sweep on soft side liquidity is much more higher probability than this buy side liquidity. Because I've stated the reasons previously, but also this is happening at an accumulation level. So accumulation levels should also act as some sort of a resistance for price to retrace, accumulate more long positions, form a new distribution area. So old accumulation levels become new distribution levels before it continues higher. Hence why this swing low is much more higher probability than this swing high. As that's the case, this is where you could drop down onto your lower time frame, such as your execution time frame, and look for longs to go higher from here. Right, so here. Once price swept this higher time frame swing low, higher time frame being your four hour, because remember, higher time frame is relative to the time frame that you're currently on. And in this scenario, we are on the 50 minute. So once it swept that four hour sell side liquidity, you have the swing high. Full body closure past that. So that is your market structure shift in line with your four hour bullish direction daily and weekly bullish direction. Here, when price retraces back into this imbalance, right, you can have an entry here. Stop loss below there, and you can look to target this immediate drawn liquidity. Right? So from here, if you play price out, you can see that it has ease in taking out this overall drawn liquidity. 
for the reasons that I previously stated. And again, look how simple the entry was. Focusing on just your swing points. Swing lows, sweeps that swing low, displacement higher, takes out a swing high, body closure pass that swing high. Enter when price retraces because you're anticipating for a swing low to form here. And it does, a swing low gets formed at this imbalance, which is a discount rate, to reinforce that on the 15 minute, we are still continuing bullish. And just like that, that is a very quick 2.5 hour trade. So yeah, that is just a quick example. Japan coming to the 4 hour now, let's see what price does. Comes back down, again, imbalance over here. The more you focus on just 3 candles, the better you become at anticipating when a swing high or swing low is going to form without even having to wait for your third candle to print. Because look over here, you have a swing high that gets formed there. This is a confirmed swing high after this third candle. But this third candle could also be your first candle in a swing low. The reason why I say that is because one, two, the second candle rebalance this imbalance with a strong body closure away from that imbalance. So this becomes, this is one of those really clear examples that we're going to get a swing low here. If I play price out, that's exactly what you get. So the more you do this, the more you focus on your free candles, the better you become at anticipating swing lows to form. And because you become better at anticipating when a swing low or swing high is going to form, you could place yourself in an earlier position to take longs before this third candle even prints to validate your swing low. Remember, you still need a third candle to print to validate your swing low, but you don't always have to wait for it to catch longs. If for this scenario, the second candle came back into a discount rate, you could already start to anticipate that in line with your higher time frame bullish direction, this was going to be a swing low, your third candle was going to have a higher bottom wick than your second candle's bottom wick. And if you look here, this general area for accumulation, it retraces back into that area and you can anticipate for this to distribute higher. So just jump onto daily, see what it does. Yeah, the daily. All it done was retrace, because remember, price is fractal. So on a daily, it is also a market maker buy model, just not as clear on the four hour. But here, it retraces back into this accumulation level on your daily time frame. Because remember, on the four hour, this up candle is also an accumulation area. Same thing, right? Implements a swing low, continues higher. Over here as well, price is fractal. Imbalance, swing low, continues higher. Swing low at this accumulation level, continues higher and takes out this buy side liquidity draw in line with your weekly direction and your monthly direction. So that is pretty much it for this video. That is how you could start to combine the simplicity of free candles with your main concept. The first concept being taught is your market maker sell models or market maker buy models. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them below in the comments. And like always, take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.